Hey, come on over. We're gonna be very intimate and personal today. It's almost like a scrub at the same time at a bar. I went to my bathroom, threw away a lot of stuff that it has these harmful chemicals on the soaps. So you have to know about this list of ingredients. And after you know about this, listen, when you know better, you do better. Make sure that if you see this list of ingredients, kick them out of your house because it's not good for you. Stay tuned and I'm gonna tell you all about this company that is all organic, plant-based, and you can actually make it yourself. You can make your own soap, your own laundry detergent, I think which is really, really cool. And also know about those bad chemicals that can be affecting your health. I cannot let you go. What's up, mi gente? This is Georgie Miller, and welcome to the Fashion Beauty in the Mix. So the number one ingredient that I saw on the products, I, I was like, oh my gosh, I have this soap, and it has that ingredient, and I googled the ingredient. It is sodium laurel sulfate, SLS. So that one is a very highly toxic ingredient. So that one not only irritates your skin, irritates your eyes, also, but it can irritate your lungs, which is kind of crazy to me and in the long run can actually go into your organs and that toxic can affect your organs. That is crazy to me. So when I read that, I was like, uh-uh, you're out. Also parabens, you heard about parabens, you have seen them everywhere. Now, a lot of companies, a lot of beauty companies are moving away from using parabens, which is a great thing. So we're making some progress on that area. But if you see a product that contains parabens, try to not use it because again, that one can actually cause problems disrupt your hormonal system, also can affect your metabolism, cause, based on some studies, uh, breast cancer. Scary enough. Another one that I never heard of is called I, comma, four dioxane. That one, it is an ingredient that is almost hidden. Two ingredients mixed together, and I, four dioxane, it is hidden in one of those ingredients. That one can also cause problems with testosterone levels, cause kidney and liver disease. If you're a mother, and if you're breastfeeding, that would be another issue as well. Tri triclosan. It got banned from antibacterial products, but you can still find that ingredient on soaps. You can find this ingredient in over 2,000 products, which is scary. A lot of products contain a triclosan in it. Trigger asthma, allergies, lower your testosterone levels. If you see that ingredient, try to also toss it out because you don't want your testosterone levels to go, uh, to go lower. If you're a guy, if you have allergies or asthma issues, that's bad enough. You don't want to have any issues with asthma. So the best way you can do is try to use all natural soaps. That will alleviate a lot of these issues and the scare of using stuff that is not good for you. I just learned about this company that it is all organic, it is all plant-based, and it's called Buff City Soap. I'm from Orlando, Florida. There is a store in Waterfall Lake, so thank you so much for the store manager to introduce me to this product. I'm so excited to go and try it. I'm gonna go in the shower. I'm gonna open the own meal. I think this is so yummy and clean. So after we finish here, we're gonna go to my shower. We're gonna shower together, and we're gonna give it a try. And I'm gonna show you how it feels. Here is the baggie so you can see the name. Again, very organic, it's very clean, it's very chic, it's very pretty. I just I love what is they stand for. It is all handcrafted, uh, plant-based, and I like the fact that I'm gonna be under control of what I'm gonna put on my body. So I can wait to actually go visit the store and make my own soap. I'm gonna have a very small commercial because I just mentioned about allergy issues and about all of that. I do suffer from allergies and sinus pressure. Thank you, Influencer, Influencer, for sponsoring also a portion of this video. And it's this one here, Herrick Allergy Relief. So I was sneezing the other day, gave it a try, and it worked. Actually, my sneezing stopped, and the pressure, I usually get it right in between my, my eyes and my nose, right in here, and above my, my cheek area. That's where I feel the pressure took it away. My husband was sneezing as well, had a little headache. So like, ah, oh, let me just give it a try. Give him one and next day like, honey, I love it. 
it's all good not a problem so yeah i think this new product i think it's gonna be it's gonna do really well it's gonna help with the headaches with your allergies and i'm gonna continue to use it i think that so far it's been working really well i'm not a doctor i'm not a nurse so i'm not here to diagnose anything i just want to say that i tried this product from flonase and it helped my allergies and my sinus pressure the worst thing is the sinuses because it is a pain in the ass i hate sinuses anyhow so thank you flonase for sponsoring this portion of the video and now we are ready to head to my shower and try the oatmeal soap it's so hot i am melting anyhow see you in the shower <laughs> You're hanging out in my bathroom? It's okay, come on over. We're gonna be very intimate and personal today. <laughs> so let's try this soap. You can see the actual oatmeal in it. That's actually pretty nice and it smells so, so good. Actually, it feels good. It feels, it feels like almost it's exfoliating my skin. It has like these little granules in it. It's almost like a scrub at the same time in a bar. And you know, I think anything organic, and anything that is handmade that you can actually make it is so much better for your skin it is not added fragrances not parabens no chemicals any of that crap that you can find in all of these products i like it i like the way it feels and feels like my skin is already feeling soft so what do i think my first reaction on this buff city soap or organic i like the way that it doesn't feel greasy because sometimes hydrating soap makes your skin feel soft but it also makes it feel kind of greasy and you don't feel clean this one my skin feels refreshed it feels uh not overly soft to be honest with you but it feels very clean it feels very fresh not greasy i like it it feels it feels good you know what it is it has those little granules and my skin feels like fresh because it feels like baby skin. So it has like that mild exfoliator from the natural oats of the oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Do you like to take in the shower? great night thank you for watching and i will see you next time here at fashion beauty in the mix love you and have an amazing day Ciao. are you kidding me right now i'm here talking to you i know the neighbor decided to use whatever they're doing to saw whatever they're cutting on an airplane i'm not gonna pass Ah. Uh -huh.